Hello everyone, in this tutorial I will show you how to replace a skeletal mesh in character pound from interaction asset with your own skeletal mesh and you can do it only if your skeletal mesh is compatible with Unreal Engine Mannequin Skeletal So I made a folder for my skeletal mesh here and here is our character interaction asset So let's first import our skeletal mesh Here it is we import it, and when we import it, it asks us if we want to create a skeleton for it or if we want to use this, an existing skeleton. Now, first let's import with creation of skeleton for it. We click import. And here's our mesh imported. Here's our skeleton mesh imported. And it, creates, it, cre it was imported with creation of skeleton for it. Now we can't use this skeleton mesh right away because it does use its own skeleton. Now what we need to do is to click is right click on this, go to skeleton, assign skeleton, and assign Unreal Engine Mannequin Skeleton from Interaction Assets folder. Now as you can see it's fully compatible. It has the same amount of bonds and all the same name names for the bonds. We click accept and now we can use this skeleton mesh with our character pound. Let's open our character pound blueprint here and pick the mesh. So we want we can just uh, pick it from the drop down list here and it will work right away. Additionally we can just drag and drop skeleton mesh from here to here and it will also work. Let's compile and test. As you can see it works right away. Uh, now we can do the same thing but instead of importing it, skeleton mesh with its own skeleton let's delete this first. We import, when we import it we can assign the required skeleton right from the input window. So we choose here and we pick the skeleton, Unreal Engine Mannequin Skeleton from the Interaction Asset folder. Right? So it imports already with required skeleton assigned to it. Now here's our skeleton mesh imported and it's already using the skeleton from interaction folder. Now we can open the blueprint of character pound, pick the mesh and currently it's none and pick our imported mesh. Here it is, compile and it will work. Now we can use this mesh also with enemies because it uses the same skeleton. Let's take a soldier for example. We open the soldier, pick its mesh, and also assign our imported skeleton mesh. And here's our enemy with our skeleton mesh. We can place it on the map and see that it all works. Now, here's another thing you need to do. The skeleton mesh you imported use its own physics assets. So, this if you, you, so these physics assets can be could be set up correctly, but could but also sometimes it's not. So, what we can do is open the skeleton mesh, and instead of these physics assets, we can use a physics assets from Unreal Engine Mannequin. So let's type mannequin here, and this is a mannequin from interaction folder. We can assign it, save, and now if we hit play, the physics asset will be much better, right? So this only works if your skeleton mesh is compatible with a real engine mannequin skeleton. 
if it's not compatible with Unreal Engine Manic and Skeleton, like for example, if you use a Skeleton Mesh from Paragon Assets, which is released for free, right? You need to do it differently. You need to retarget animations and then do other things to be able to use it with your blueprint, with your character palm blueprint. I will show it in another tutorial. Thank you for watching and goodbye.